Hello everyone, so this is Suti Pathak and you are watching my channel. So today I am back with another video which is related to health problems and emotional cause. So in this video I will talk about like what are the different health problems that we face and what are its probable emotional causes. So basically we have seen that health problems they get manifested due to the emotional traumas or emotional problems that we have in our life and when these emotional problems and emotional traumas they get too much then they get manifested into physical problems so today i will dive into all the problems of the health which is caused by the emotional stress emotional trauma okay so let's get started with this particular presentation so first we will talk about all the diseases which start from the alphabet A. We will go series by series and first I will talk about the diseases that start from A. Then I will go for the diseases that will start from B and consecutively I will share all the videos wherein I will discuss about all the diseases Okay, from A to Z. So let's get started with all the diseases that are starting from the alphabet A. Okay, so let's talk about the first problem. So the first problem is the abdominal cramps. So basically abdominal cramps are the cramps which occur in your abdomen. And these are basically caused by the fear stopping the process. So if you have a lot of fear, if you have a lot of uh, doubts uh, that you will not be able to do it and you fear doing something you avoid doing something so obviously you get abdominal cramps and to stop this you can create a new thought pattern which is that i trust the process of life i am safe okay so when you believe in yourself when you feel that okay that whatever will happen in my life will be something which is safe or it is something which i can trust so obviously you will not have abdominal cramps okay so this is what it means next comes the abscess okay so what is basically abscess so abscess basically means uh, like a pus so suppose if there's a lot of uh, you know tissues infected tissues they get accumulated or sometimes a bacteria gets accumulated in a certain part of your body so you can see a pus okay so that is known as abscess so why does it happen it happens because you have formatting thoughts over hurt slights and revenge so basically you keep on overthinking about your past traumas past hurts you keep on uh, thinking about the people who have hurt you who have disrespected you so this leads to a lot of abscess this leads to a lot of pus so new thought pattern is that I allow my thoughts to be free. The past is over and I'm at peace. So if you just free yourself from all the overthinking, if you free yourself from the past hurts, past revenge and past uh, traumas, then obviously you will not have any abscess. Then comes the accidents. So generally people, a lot of people, they, you know, prone to accidents so why they are prone to accidents because they are not able to speak up for themselves okay they are not able to you know uh, stand up for themselves in inability to speak up for the self rebellion against authority belief in violence okay so for this the new thought pattern is i love and approve of myself i am loving and lovable so basically this means that they are very aggressive they keep on you know fighting with others they are fighting with the senior people they have belief in violence they feel that okay fighting will lead to a lot of solution but that is not a solution solution is when you start loving yourself you will give respect to yourself and you will also give respect to someone else so this is uh, about the three diseases or health problems related to alphabet a now we will move on to the next slide to talk about the more diseases more health problems that start from the alphabet a okay so now i will talk about the other problems which start from the alphabet a 
so the first is aches so why do you have aches like headache stomach ache okay so these are different aches okay so why back ache so why do you have these aches so the probable cause is longing for love longing to be held so this is very self explanatory as well because whenever you have pain in certain part of your body when you feel tired you feel burdened you have a back ache you have stomach ache you have headache so what happens is you feel like okay you should hug someone that you need a hug from someone or you should hug someone okay who can actually relieve your pain so that's the probable cause because you're longing for love you're longing to be held you longing for someone to hug you okay so this is what it means so in order to overcome that you can have a new thought pattern which is i love and approve myself i am loving and lovable so this is very very beautiful and very very self explanatory as well that obviously whenever you have a backache so whenever you have a headache when you have a stomach ache or whenever you have a pain in your arms in your thighs and your legs so obviously you want someone to hug you so that you can feel lovable now next comes the acne so what is acne so acne is something you know like some like pimples are occurring over your body and uh, there's a lot of pus in that as well okay so you get an acne so probable cause is not accepting a self dislike of the self obviously when you keep on telling yourself that okay i'm not good i'm not a good looking that i don't like myself or nobody will like me or something like that so obviously you get acne then new thought pattern is i am divine expression of life i love and accept myself where i am right now so obviously you are the most beautiful creation of god okay everyone is a good creation a beautiful creation of god so you should not dislike yourself if you start disliking yourself people will also dislike you and if you start disliking yourself then it will get manifested in your body also so it will result in acne so in order to remove that start accepting yourself then comes the problem addictions so there are a lot of addictions like alcohol smoking and doing hookah and all of these things so basically it leads to lot of health problems okay other health problems okay it leads to liver cirrhosis and also it leads to graying of hair and it also you know diminishes the speed of blood it diminishes the flow of blood it reduces the flow of blood so that is also really very important so why does it happen okay running from the self fear not knowing how to love the self so what happens is you start having an addiction when you feel that you cannot face this situation or you feel like this is very burning or this is this is something which is very outside of my control and you don't f- want to face that situation as such you have a lot of pain in your heart you have a lot of pain in your body and you are not facing your real self you are not facing your dark side so when you don't do that so you obviously succumb yourself to the addictions so this is what happens when you are addicted to something and now addiction doesn't always mean alcohol or hookah or smoking it can also mean addicted to a particular toxic situation just like toxic work environment toxic people or having a habit of uh, being on social media all the time so these are also uh, some addictions new thought pattern is i now discover how wonderful i am i choose to love and enjoy myself so this was about the problems of um uh, alphabet a now we will move on to the other problems of alphabet a okay so now we will talk about the other problems which start from the alphabet a and their probable cause and new thought pattern so first here is the aging problems so people start having aging problems like they start having gray hair they start having wrinkles Uh, and their skin gets very loose so why that happens 
so that happens basically because of social beliefs old thinking fear of being oneself rejection of the now so basically this means that you have a preconceived notion about some things you have a, a traditional values that you have been carrying for a long period of time you have some social beliefs you have some old thinking traditional a uh, pattern orthodox pattern that you have in your mind which basically leads to a lot of aging problems sometimes this aging problem uh, is happening in a very young age so that is because of the old beliefs that you have that means that you are not open minded person you have a strict way of thinking or you are very rigid you have those beliefs in you that is very strong that are very strong so that's why it leads to aging problems okay and you don't um, feel comfortable with yourself you have fear of being authentic and real and you don't accept the circumstances which are there right now or which are in the present so new thought pattern for that is i love and accept myself at every age each moment in my life is perfect so you have to accept your present and you have to accept and love yourself every moment of your time okay every moment of your life whether you are 60 years old 50 years old 40 years old 30 years old 20 years old it does not matter now comes the next problem which is the aids aids is acquired immunodeficiency syndrome which is caused by the virus hiv so you know in that basically your immune system starts to weaken and your immune system is not working properly okay the cells are damaged and you are having other co- consequences or other diseases along with the aids so why does that happen feeling defenselessness and hopeless as you can see in the aids also like when your body is not able to defend itself it does not have a strong immune system it does not have you can say a proper defense mechanism it happens because you don't feel powerful you feel powerless okay you feel defenseless and hopeless you feel that nothing can happen in life nobody cares for me a strong belief in not being good enough denial of self sexual guilt okay so this is what happens when you have aids now comes the new thought pattern new thought pattern is that i am the part of the universal design i am important i am loved by life itself i am powerful and capable i love and appreciate all of myself so when you feel that you're okay you are a very powerful person you are a beautiful person you are a wonderful person you are the beautiful creation of god then only you will be able to overcome this feeling of being defenseless and hopeless and then you will avoid having this problem which is known as aids now comes the alcoholism people generally um succumb to alcoholism just like i said in the addictions part as well so generally when you have alcoholism you generally feel that what is the use of this situation what is the use of this uh, particular product or service what is the use of this relationship what is the use of this career you have this thinking pattern you feel guilt you feel inadequacy and you reject yourself you reject your originality you reject your real authentic self because you feel that what is the point of having this life there are so many problems in this life uh, why i am living this life i don't have a beautiful career i don't have a beautiful relationship i don't have a beautiful life so this is what happens that causes alcoholism because you feel that alcoholism can escape you from your reality so in order to overcome that it's very important to have a new thought pattern which is i live in the now each moment is new i choose to be myself worth and i love and approve of myself so this is very important that you need to be in present moment you do not need to go into the past you don't need to go into the future but you need to know that it's very important to accept the situation as it is and do not try to change the situation on your own because some things are not in your control some things are in god's control so in order to do that you need to have a good thought pattern and the thought pattern is this which i just mentioned right now now i will move on to the last slide of the diseases 
which start from alphabet A. Okay, and then we will finish off with the presentation. Thank you so much. Okay, so now I will talk about the rest of the problems which start from alphabet A. So this is the last slide. So let's talk about anxiety. So what is the probable cause of anxiety? So you are anxious when you worry a lot. Excessive worry is anxiety. So why do you worry when you are into your future? When you are not in present moment. So you feel anxious. You feel a lot of anxiety. So the problem cause is not trusting the flow and the process in life. So when you feel like nothing is in my control or uh, like everything is going against me that's because you are not aligned with the flow of life and you are not going with the flow of life you are going against the flow of life you are trying to control each and everything and you are trying to control those things as well which are not under your control so this is where you feel very worried and finally you come into anxiety okay so in order to overcome that you can have a new thought pattern which is I love and approve of myself. I trust the process of life and I am safe. So you are totally safe. You have to totally trust the process of life. Wherever you are, you are at the right place. You have to trust that. You have to trust the universe. You have to trust the God. So this is what it means. Next problem is the arthritis. Okay. So you, when you are having arthritis, so obviously you have problem in bones. Your bones are not working properly. They are not working. Uh, working smoothly okay so why does it happen because it happens you feel unloved there's a lot of criticism resentment okay so as you know when you are in love okay when you are in love with yourself when you are in love with your parents when you are in love with your relatives when when you are in love with your spouse your husband your wife then there's a free flow of energy Okay, there's no blockage or there's no um, harsh energy, right? But whenever harsh energy takes place, it leads to arthritis. Harsh energy means that you are being harsh on yourself. You don't love yourself that much. You are being harsh on your parents or you are being harsh on your spouse. So there's a lot of criticism, there's a lot of resentment. So you criticize yourself a lot and you criticize other people also. You become very much critical because you uh, think from your mind but not from your heart. So that leads to arthritis. Okay. So the new thought pattern is I am love. I now choose to love and approve of myself. I see others with love. So you love yourself and you see others with love. Then only you will be able to avoid arthritis. Then comes the asthma which is the last problem which we will discuss in this presentation so asthma means that you are not able to breathe properly because you are having some problem in your lungs so why does it happen okay okay so it happens when you don't get proper freedom in your life okay you have you received smaller love so smaller love basically means that your parents are very overprotective of you. You don't. They don't give you any sort of freedom. They don't give you any sort of uh, freedom to choose your life or choose your own decisions or choose your own partner, or choose your own career. So it leads to asthma, inability to breathe for oneself, feeling stifled, suppressed crying. So this this basically means that you feel suffocated, you feel trapped, you feel uh, bonded, you feel dependent on people. You don't feel independent as such. So this leads to asthma. So new thought pattern is, it is safe for me to take charge of my own life. I choose to be free. So this is very important. In order to feel free, then you need to have a thinking pattern that you are free and you have a right to choose your own life and you have a right to choose your own decisions. So this was all about all the diseases that start from alphabet A. In my next video, I will talk about all the diseases that start from alphabet B. Thank you everyone for watching this video. I hope you really like this video. Please do not forget to like or subscribe my channel. Also, you can follow my Instagram account which is healthcare for you forever. And 
please follow my account and please show your support and love i will be really very grateful thank you so much bye bye i'll see you in the next video